Hey everyone, what's going on? It's Mark from Erickson Machine and Performance again. I'm going to go through checking squish on a motor. So this is a performance motor that we just rebuilt. Um, modified some of the poor timing on it. Um, make it have a little more kick. Um, the one thing with squish, for those that don't know, um, squish on a two-stroke is the distance. So this is a dome um for an aftermarket head an ada head like is on this motor um this shape is basically milled into a stock head as well so you know whether it's an aftermarket head where the domes are replaceable or it's the stock head this is the same so this is the dome section and this is the squish the flat angled surface so the squish band matches up to the angle on the piston so if you look this is a dome piston, you know, there's a slight dome on it. Um, this is a flat top piston, if you can see it's flat. So depending on whether it's a dome piston or a flat top piston will depend on the angle cut into the dome for the squish. Why this is important, you want it to be tight but not too tight. So, um, you know, normally on a performance motor, you're anywhere between you know, 35 and 65 thousandths in that neighborhood. Um, it really depends on the size of the bore um, that you're running and also the stroke. Um, the tighter you can get it, the better. Obviously, to a point, uh, you get it too tight and bad things happen. Um, on this type of motor, which it is a motor that's going to be raced, um, I shoot for right around 50. Um, a lot of people don't have a clue how to check it. Um, and it's really not that difficult. So you need a couple tools. Um, you either need a caliper. This is a digital. Or, you know, you can use a micrometer, an old style. Um, or, you know, a nice fancy one. Uh, any of the three works totally fine. The last thing you're going to need is plumbing solder, like you get at any Home Depot. You know, around eighth inch thick. Obviously, it has to be thicker than what the squish you're in, because we're going to basically put this in the hole and crush it, and then measure the crush. When you're doing this, you always want to go this way with a solder. You want to go parallel with a piston pin. So pistons rotate on this pin, they rotate like this. So if we put the solder here, the piston's going to rotate onto the skirt. One, you're not going to get an accurate reading. Two, theoretically, you can actually damage the skirt. Um, so same thing with people trying to take couplers off or flywheels off and they stick a rope either in the exhaust port or in the spark plug hole. Don't do that shit. You're asking to damage stuff. Um, you know, get an impact gun with the right tool, take it off. Um, that's not the way to do it. Uh, pistons aren't designed to be side loaded. They're designed to push evenly up and down. So let's get started. We'll check this out and see how close we ended up getting. So we'll go in, we'll rotate it to top dead center. Take a pry bar, kick it over. Now, if you can see, I flattened that area. So now we're going to measure that area. Go ahead and check it. And we are dead nuts at 50. So that was perfect. Now, if you have a motor that's questionable or a head that's questionable, you can check in both directions. So this way and this way, this motor, I measured everything and checked everything. I don't have that issue. So I'm just going to go in the one direction. It doesn't hurt to go in both. Normally that would be on a stock milled head that somebody might've milled funny or something like that. Um, so just pay attention. Also, when you put this in the spark plug hole, if you notice, I bend it at an angle. So I put it in and then rotate it up. So we'll go in, 
rotate up, use a pry bar, kick it over, and let's go measure this one. 49. So this is perfect. So that's basically all you need to know. You know, it is the squish that you're measuring is this distance, the distance between the piston and the top of the dome, that small area. Um, the main idea is to have it tight to where it's not going to detonate, but not so tight that you trap a tiny fuel mixture that's going to start exploding there. Um, which that's where there's a very fine edge. And it really depends on the type of motor um, and that type of thing. You know, where you make power on any engine, it's timing and compression. So the more compression you put in, same thing, you know, on a four stroke, a supercharger, a turbocharger, all that's compression. You're adding compression to the engine. You're putting more pressure in that cylinder. So it's making it work harder. It's making a, a denser charge to explode. Um, same thing with timing. The more advanced you can go, the hotter it's going to go. Same thing. You know, you want to be right on the edge of detonation without detonating. Um, you go a little too far and you're ending up doing a complete rebuild. So... Hope this showed you a little bit how to check the squish on your motor, what to look for. Um, hope you liked it. Please follow us, um, subscribe, like the video. Thanks, guys. You have a good evening.